Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to hit home goods. I have seen on TikTok that there are some extremely adorable cool items for Halloween that are already supposed to be popping up. So I need to go see for myself to see if that is actually true. I have seen some ghost pillows, some pumpkin pillows, some skeleton drinkware like all of these are supposed to be pottery barn dupes and i love freaking pottery barn but i never buy it because it's so expensive i mean i think a pillow last year and i think one this year is supposed to be like 80 bucks almost so i'm gonna go to hit home goods right now to see if i can find some dupes for these items so that way i can already start decorating for halloween because i mean we're in august right now it's basically halloween right i think i actually might hit bath and body works too there's a bath and body works right across the street from this home goods they supposedly had like a huge shipment of halloween decorations and hand soaps and different things so i kind of want to check them out too so i'm gonna hit both of these stores and uh let's see what we can find let's do it and here we go first stop home goods and i was on a mission i was walking in there for the halloween i was not stopping at anything else and jackpot baby they were fully stocked right now for halloween stuff so if you have been looking for halloween go immediately they were literally putting out cartfuls as i was looking through the store so i mean there was just so much product coming out right now it is crazy to think that we're just in august and right away this cute little boo sign and this palmistry book that's not a book caught my eye this one was just so cute i honestly regret not picking it up it could have made a really cool coffee table book where you hide some remotes inside of it very adorable little piece and then of course we had pumpkins galore here if you've been searching for pumpkins they've been hiding here they robbed all the stores <laughs> because they had them in every single size shape texture some were pillows some were glass like this blue one i'm about to show you gorgeous glass blown pumpkins there and then i want you guys to remember this three-tiered skull thing that lights up here the gold one this one is going to come back around at the end of the video as a giant piece so just remember that there's this small one here and then there's going to be a much larger one that we discover at the end and i mean just so much to look at here in this section with all of the pumpkins i ended up spotting this little gray one that was a squishy pillow one and i said you're coming home with me I also love seeing little things like this, like the Mr. and Mrs. 2021. If you happen to have gotten married last year, there's a cute little pumpkin here that'll pop up for you guys. And then as far as ghost pillows go, I ended up kind of striking out here. This is the only kind I saw, definitely not what I was looking for. But that's okay. That just means I need to keep coming to Home Goods every week. <laughs> and then I saw these awesome skulls. You guys know skulls are one of my favorite things to kind of find and buy. I saw this awesome like snow globe one. Lots of cute little moments there. And then I made it over to the drinkware. And of course we had a ton of Ray done. But then I spotted it. My glassware I was looking for. <gasps> the skull cups. I'm so excited that I actually ended up finding these. I was on a hunt. These were the two that I really wanted to find. Couldn't believe it. They are literal pottery barn dupes. The only difference is that this tall one here has a black glass on top where the pottery barn has a clear one. And then the hand on the shorter ones is actually a more bronze where the other one is a silver. But I don't care. They are coming home with me. And when it comes to Ray Dunn, I'm not typically the biggest fan, you know, to each their own. But this one actually caught my eye because it was a tumbler. It reminded me of the Yeti that you could stick a uh, beer or, you know, some other kind of beverage in there. <laughs> and then did you guys know that Disney is having a collection popping up at Home Goods too? I found this Jack Skellington mug here. Super adorable. We're going to see some other Disney things throughout this video. And then this thing I thought was really cool, but I had no clue what I would even put in there. <laughs> but I like the little accent of the skeleton there. And then we have this insulated tumbler here. And then as I walked away, they put out more. So there was this martini skeleton hand glass 
cup that had now popped up next to the other stuff. There was only two though, and I don't really use these kinds of cups, but it was really cool to see. And then, oh my gosh, a coffin serving tray. Again, another thing I didn't pick up that I'm looking back at, I'm like, dang it, I should have grabbed that one. So cute. I'll have to grab it if I go back this week, which I will 100% do. <laughs> And of course, there was this cute little cauldron thing that was also redone. I kind of wish they didn't have all of the font in the front with the different sayings. I kind of like my decor a little bit more plain without like a whole bunch of words on it. But again, to each their own. And I mean, there was just so much redone decor. It was crazy. I could not physically show you guys all of the stuff that they had in store there because there was just so much to look at. It would just make it like an hour long video. So here's me just showing you guys a couple of the little things I found here on the shelf for all of the cups and plates and things and cookie jars. And then back over to the decor section over here, I found the section with a really cool tall skeleton in the back there. It ended up being 200 bucks though. And I was like, eh, that's kind of pricey for that. You could get yourself a 12 foot tall skeleton from Home Depot that's I think like 300 bucks is how much it was. Oh my god, I love Norman. He's the awesomest, most bestest purchase I've ever made. <laughs> I wonder if he's coming back this year. Anyway, that's off topic. Let's focus back at this home goods stuff. But yeah, lots of different pieces right here on the shelf. Little candle holders, little sculptures, couple gnomes. And then this I thought would be really cute out by the door, this little coffin setup thing. But then I moved over to the pillows. And when I tell you that they have an abundance of pillows, they have an abundance of freaking pillows at Home Goods right now. So many different kinds. And oh my gosh, even these Hocus Pocus one. I was obsessed with this one. I put a spell on you. Hocus Pocus 2 coming out. I think they're gearing up with putting all kinds of Disney stuff everywhere. I told you there's going to be tons of little Disney things hidden throughout this video. Had no clue. But yeah, tons of different kinds here. I do like, like I said, the more plain ones. So that white pillow with the white pumpkin caught my eye. And then we had a couple more mugs I spotted on a cart here. I thought these were really cute. I mean, you guys know skeletons. They're, they're my vibe. The skulls, everything like that, webs, that's all me. I'm going to gravitate towards that all day. So these mugs right here were right up my alley. And then wait for it. Bam! Jack and Sally. A little tumbler here, insulated moment. And right next to it, more Hocus Pocus. The Broom Squad, I told you guys, tons of little Disney popping up here. I hadn't even really seen anybody talking about this, so I was genuinely surprised when I saw all of that here. And then these pumpkins actually caught my eye because they kind of reminded me of like a dragon egg moment, which I thought was kind of adorable. And then more pillows, candy corn pillow. This one also reminded me of a little bit of a pottery barn moment. This collection right here is actually Martha Stewart. She had a couple pieces throughout the store that I was utterly obsessed with. This was one that I almost picked up. And then I told you guys that three-tiered gold skull in the beginning was going to pop up again. And look at this thing. It is huge. I mean, it must have been at least like three and a half feet tall. It was a hundred bucks, but I mean, just imagine this at your front door. Adorable. All right, but that was it for home goods. Now we're heading off to Bath and Body Works to take a look and see what kind of Halloween things they have in store. And they were fully stocked. First things first were these cute little candle holders in the shape of pumpkins that were in all different colors there. And that was just right when you walked in the door. Then I moved over to the actual Halloween section. That one probably was more fall than it was Halloween. So this is the true Halloween here. And these two candle holders caught my attention. This raven that lights up, super adorable, but it was $80. I quickly put that thing back. Then there was this tree that I was like, okay, this one is also very cute. It lights up, but then price check, $70 quickly put that thing back. <laughs> that was a quick note for me for those two guys, but so cute. Then we see this hand that is definitely going to be a reoccurring theme here throughout the collection that is holding the soap. Very cute. 
There was also this small little silicone pumpkin holder for the soap, but that one was $19.95. I felt like everything was a little bit on the pricey side this year because some of these items were just like way up there in price. Very adorable, but yeah, you're definitely paying a pretty penny for it. Even with these skulls, this thing was $50. It might not have been a good idea to come from Home Goods and then go to Bath and Body Works, or maybe it was genius because then it prevents me from actually buying any of this stuff because I was like, oh my god, everything's just so much cheaper at Home Goods. Why would I pay these prices? <laughs> But yeah, so many cute di different little collections here. I love the hand sanitizer ones. They are so cute. I usually always buy one every season. So I was looking for the one I wanted to grab this year. Even more skulls though. This one was sparkly on the inside. So it was just flowing around in there. Kind of like the Raven one. But this one was 60 bucks. And then, of course, we got a couple more plugins here. Some of the wallflowers. Some of them are already selling out, and they just put this collection out. So definitely go check out your Bath and Body Works. If you are waiting, don't, because <laughs> they're not going to have anything left. But I mean, either way, it's just fun to go in store and see their collection because they do always kill it with all of the stuff that they bring out. It's just so cute. And then last but not least, I almost actually missed this item. It's a little flapping bat for your hand sanitizer. I love how it was interactive. So thrilled that I ended up coming out today because I found so much good stuff here at Home Goods and Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works definitely had a couple things that were sold out that I've seen online that they did not have in store. So they're definitely selling out quick if you're looking for anything in particular. I would definitely go hit Bath and Body Works right now. But they had so many cute things and specifically Bath and Body Works. I have to say, I feel like it's gotten really expensive for this year. I don't know if I'm the only one who's thinking it. I love that Raven snow globe thing. That one was my absolute favorite. I was going in there thinking like, I'm gonna get that one. And then I saw the price of it and I was like, Ooh! yeah, that's gonna be a pass for me. <laughs> like that thing was crazy expensive. Sorry, I just realized I was blasting the AC at you guys. So hopefully you guys were able to hear me. I lowered it here, but yeah. And Home Goods as well. They did not have everything that I was looking for as far as dupes go for Pottery Barn, but they definitely had a lot of different things in store right now. So, I mean, if you are on the hunt for any of those dupe items, go hit it right now. They were bringing out all of the stock as I was there. So they are just probably starting to put it out on the shelves. And I mean, so many people were there. So I would definitely like go and try to get your hands on it before it ends up being sold out. I was there for those glasses. I grabbed the glasses. They're all wrapped up right now, so I'm not going to pull them out to show you guys, but I did grab two of each of the glasses and I'm so excited about that. That is literally what I went in there with a the mindset for. Same with those ghost pillows, but didn't find them. But I mean, glasses, total score today. I'm so thrilled about that. I definitely think I might end up going back maybe next week after they have like a restock of some things, seeing if I can find anything more cool for Halloween coming back out because this is my favorite time of the year. I'm so excited. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.